I'm Aaron Heinem and I'm here today with the new DryTag RH from Phoenix. This is part of the DryLink ecosystem of connected products. It can be used on any brand of equipment and it can be used as a standalone thermal hygrometer or it can be used to turn any dehumidifier that's not smart into a smart dehumidifier. This unit can also be used for asset tracking and has all the same functionality of the dry tag as far as asset tracking, verified equipment location, verified runtime, and also letting you know if equipment is on or off using the uh, dry phone. It additionally gives you temperature and relative humidity readings and can be used to automate your affected area, unaffected area, or HVAC readings when you're using it as a standalone thermal hygrometer. Or as I mentioned, you can attach it to a non-smart dehumidifier and turn it into a smart one. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So as you can see, this is the dry tag RH. This is the temperature and relative humidity portion of it. You can see that there are slots here for zip ties, which you can use when you're using it as a standalone thermal hygrometer. And there are four screws in the back, which allow us to access the battery. And we'll take a look at that as well. Okay, so now we're gonna take the dry tag RH out of the box. And we see that uh, we have a sticker here that says dry link powered by Phoenix that you can put on any dehumidifier that you attach the unit to. And with the dry tag RH, you can see it comes with a battery pull tab. So in order to activate the battery, you're gonna need a number one Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna need to loosen the screws. Just enough to pull out the battery pull tab and activate the unit. Then you retighten the screws and you'll be ready to use. This unit uses a two thirds AA battery. It's available on Amazon, they're not very expensive. And you can see on the side, this is where we have the holes for the zip ties. This is the DryTag RH. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you how to set up the DryTag RH in the DryLink app as a standalone thermal hygrometer. So we'll click on the equipment tab. And if we don't get the blue banner after pulling out the battery tab, we can click on the refresh button till we get the uh, blue banner at the bottom. We're gonna click view units. You can see the one that's in range and we can match our UUID. That is the unit we wanna use. Now here we could select a, a dehumidifier to attach it to. We don't have any available. So we're, we're gonna click on add new equipment, which is what you would do if you wanna set up a standalone thermal hygrometer. So we're gonna type in dry tag RH1 and you can name yours whatever you like. I suggest writing it um, somewhere on the unit so you can identify the unit as well easily. Then we're gonna select meter, it's a hygrometer. The manufacturer here is Phoenix. The model is the dry tag RH. And after we type that in, we're gonna put in the serial number I recommend you put the serial number in for every unit into uh, DryLink. And with the DryTag RH, you just use the UUID, which is on a sticker on the unit. And you can just type that into the serial number field. And when you're done, you can just hit save and finish. And we've added all the dry tags we're going to, so we'll cancel that. And then we'll go back into our company equipment and you'll, we'll scroll down and find our dry tag RH1 and we're gonna take a look at it. So I'll click into it and you'll see this is what it looks like in the app. And there it is. And that's how easy it is to set up your dry tag RH as a standalone thermal hygrometer. The next thing we're gonna do is show you how to set it up as a smart dehumidifier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the equipment tab and once we go in there, we're gonna hit add equipment and this time we're gonna set up a, an R250. So we'll call this R250-4601. That's a dehumidifier. And we're gonna scroll down, it's an LGR. We'll select extra large. It's 135 pints per day. That's important for doing IICRC equipment calculations. Manufacturer is Phoenix. The model is the R250. And again, it's always important to put the serial numbers into the app. So I'm gonna enter the serial number. And once I have the uh, serial number entered, I can hit uh, save and finish. There is a button for save and add another, but I'm just doing the one unit right now. So I'll hit save and finish. Now, once I've done that, 
I'm gonna go find the unit in my company inventory just to show you what it looks like. So here's the non-smart unit. And now I'm gonna attach the dry tag to it. So I'm gonna go back, here's my, I pulled my battery tab and there's my dry tag. So I'm gonna add it. Now there's a dehumidifier, non-smart dehumidifier in my inventory. I select it and hit okay. Now I'm gonna go back to my company units and I'm gonna show you that now it shows that it has a dry tag RH attached. You can see the temperature, relative humidity, and grains. And that's how easy it is to set up the dry tag RH as a dehumidifier. We also have videos that show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to attach the dry tag RH to the inside of the outlet grill of any non-smart dehumidifier and make it into a smart dehumidifier. It's easy to take readings with the dry tag RH and with the dry phone, you can take readings remotely.